My name is Mr. Smith's Alicia Badikos. I'm from the Action uh, All Progressive uh, Congress in the state of Michigan. The workshop has been a nine, nine that's an enabled way to see that as a woman, there is a lot we still need, we, we need to learn, and that's what we have been taught here. That is how to lobby, how to budget for a campaign, and how to have higher women participating in governance. So this has been some of the lessons we have learned out of it, that women, they should stand up and contest elective posts, that we should not say because we are men, uh, we are women and the men are all there, that we are not going to participate. We have raised a crucial issue with this uh, workshop, that is the issue of money. Women, they are not financially endowed enough for the nation to contest elective posts. So I have been told that we could source, how we could source fund for our campaign works. Also, apart from that, we have also have been able to see how we can tackle violence in the nations. Because women are the mother of the nation. It is we that we need to go out there and lighten our children, not to be used for totally and we have been, they have been taught also that why can't I for post, we must not lose our own and dignity as a woman. We must be able to say no to call for that reason, no to call season belonging to the member of the country who aspired to take any position and that we should not allow men's molestations to deter us. Even though if we are being rejected and uh, we are not uh, maybe voted for the primaries, we should not call it technology. We should keep on trying to be able to occupy an elective post. So those are some of four things we have The self awareness, and above four, there are some informal trades we have seen to here. The ability to tolerate other people which are not member of the party. For example, my own state has never been in the history of the state that the member of the APC and the PDP they sat together under the same roof for five days without chaos. So the workshop have been able to address that. We have been able to see that we are sisters, no matter our party and affiliation, that there is only permanent interest, there is no permanent friend, no permanent. No permanent party. Today you may find yourself in a party, tomorrow you see yourself in a B party. So that because of that, that one does not mean that there should be in a permanent enemy with people just because of the party that go to me. So you say that. And so welcome in India. We have been enriched by the United. Now, a table is at which we will go and start propagating this gospel of peace, no violence not to go for the reason that women can make it, that they should not be deterred, that they should move forward, they should go and contest, they should not limit themselves. Within the party structure, and even in the nation at large, it should be that it should be a kind of diversion from what it usually used to be. Women can only work, as far as position of women leaders, only to go and clap and dance. It makes no meaning. Women should have more than that. We could also be a party chairman. There is nothing wrong if a woman could be a secretary of a party. Not wrong if, woman, if the woman can be in the board of trust, the chairman of the board of trust. So women too can do it. If women can take all them, that they can take it in other profession, why not in politics? Why is politics exception? We have seen that in developed develop countries, women have been the, 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 the President in Chile, uh -huh. women have been president in Argentina, and women have been president in other developed nations. Why not here? We will see the West Africa, the, the South East, here in Liberia, so close to us, and there has been no report of the hand that is the middle, only because she's a woman. So it means that in Nigeria, to which we arrive from the president, once we see women as the governor, want to see women as the uh, uh, speaker in the our National Assemblies, we want to see a Senate President, Speaker House of Rep, Speakers in our Assemblies in the state. We don't want that by getting the post of only being a deputy to a man in the male government. So there should be a clear departure from the Let women come, let women assume and take the 
management of leadership. 